there are two movements which are dangerous for democracy. Firstly, the increase in fundamentalism, which affects the most fragile amongst us, namely women who would tend to be the first victims of the crisis and the increase in fundamentalism. There's also an increase in extreme right movements in Europe, which are feeding off the crisis, which act as a counterbalance to the first movement. In a way, they feed off each other, if I can put it that way. The reality of women in the deprived neighbourhoods of Europe and the youth of Europe in these uh, neighbourhoods, even though there are great differences between these uh, all different uh, European countries, there is a shared reality, and that is uh, the segregation of uh, women uh, women who are European citizens. And I think this is a real challenge. It's a challenge for our democracy in this issue of uh, full veils. And I think we need to defend women's rights if we want to uh, have a progress on democracy. I think that at a certain point in a society where the human respect should be adhered to, and this is in our European Convention on Human Rights, a, a right of the individual to expression. I think it's an introduction of a uniformization. It's a denial of identity, which is a type of fascism, and it is always the women who are victims of these trends. And why is it the women? Because for me, it is the symbol of oppression of the denial of the un fundamental universal values of equality between men and women. We have to call for the equality of women, but as we do so, we have to consider how we interact with all the cultures that are around us, all the expressions around us. Some uh, solutions that uh, stem from populism may actually just aggravate the situation and uh, cause more problems than they solve. And we have to come together to try to uh, find the best solutions, solutions for equality and solutions for women to be allowed to just be who they want to be. The ground on which the supporters of the protection of Western values, national identity in EU countries have built their argumentation to bend the full veil is rather shaky and maybe counterproductive in our global world. Some women do want to wear the full veil in public in, on religious grounds. Women's rights have two faces, but one common denominator, which is freedom of choice. Therefore, a total ban on the full veil in the public sphere cannot be justified by the only desire to free women from male coercion. On the one hand, as a liberal, it's very difficult for me to understand oh, why I should meddle with what kind of clothes other people wear, what religion they choose and uh, how uh, they observe their religion. But on the other hand, it is true that in far too many cases the burqa hides a... Um, a view of oppressing women, and uh, that goes against all that I hold dear about equality. Hate speech uh, is something we must reject and avoid insofar as possible. But I don't think it should be criminalized. And so we have to ask ourselves, how can uh, people and groups that are increasingly diverse live together in Europe? which is still a very diverse continent when it comes to culture, religion and ethnicity. And this situation is not really changing. On the contrary, over the coming decades, Europe will become increasingly multicultural, multi-ethnic and multi-religious.